Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically upload HTML emails from Figma to the Salesforce Marketing Cloud platform using the Emailify plugin. So all we need to do to get started is go to the little resources icon at the top of your Figma file and if you click on that and search for Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y and under the plugins tab you'll see Emailify pop up. To run the plugin you can just click on the run button here or I'd recommend clicking on this more options icon and just clicking save plugin and that's going to save it to your plugins list for easy access later. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm going to go to my canvas, just right click anywhere, go down to plugins, then go down to save plugins and click on emailify. And that's just going to run the plugin that we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is it basically helps you to design uh, emails in Figma that can then be exported to production ready HTML automatically. So just for example, I'm just going to create a new email uh, here. So I'm just going to call it uh, new MC email. Uh, so MC being marketing cloud. And I'm just going to be populating a few different fields here just to make a really quick design. Uh, I'm not going to be going through all of the design elements and how to actually customize the designs. Uh, there's some other videos on the YouTube channel if you want to go through those. Today I'm just going to be focusing on how to get the email uh, up into Salesforce Marketing Cloud automatically, assuming that you've already finished your design. Uh, so the one thing I will show you is under the footers tab, uh, it's easy to add a Salesforce Marketing Cloud footer uh, just under the platform section here. If you click on the little Salesforce Marketing Cloud footer item, that's basically going to automatically populate the required fields needed for your Marketing Cloud template. So if we have a look at the settings here, you can see that the unsubscribe link's already in there and we've got the uh, automated address and view email URL uh, link. You can obviously customize the design of this, but uh, for today we're just going to be focusing on adding a really basic design to show you how the upload works. So I'll just add one more image and then we'll be ready to go. So I'm happy enough with that email for now. So to export this to HTML and upload it to Salesforce Marketing Cloud automatically, all we need to do is click on the export HTML button in the plugin. And then you can just change this HTML email option and scroll down to the platform integrations and just select the Marketing Cloud item. So click on Marketing Cloud and you'll see the little Salesforce icon. And if you need help finding the keys, uh, you can click on this little link here, but I'll show you how to do that in Marketing Cloud as well. So we need three things. We need a base URL, a client ID, and a client secret. So the way that we can get those details is if you go to your Marketing Cloud instance and just log in, and then if you go to the setup page, so if you click on your account name and go to setup as a menu option, you'll see the setup page uh, in your browser. And then what you want to do is go down to platform tools and expand the apps uh, drop down and then just click on installed packages. And then you should see a menu item or a button rather uh, called new. So if you click on the new button, it should give you this modal here. Uh, which asks for your new package details. And you can give that a name. So in this case, I'm just going to give it a name of Emailify and pop in Figma integration into the description just so we know what it is. And then you can go ahead and click on save. And you'll see that it'll create a new package called Emailify. Uh, so once it's done that, you basically want to go down to this components section here, click on add component. So I'm going to click on the add component button. And then we want to select the API integration option and click next and then we want to change this one to server to server so we're going to change it from web app to server to server and once you've got that selected go ahead and click on next again and then finally we want to set the permissions for the component so what we need to do here is basically add some uh, permissions so under channels under the email channel you just want to select read and write uh, so those two are selected and then the other ones you want to select are under this assets heading here. So we can just select read and write for the documents and images and saved content subsection. And that should be all that you need to give the API enough permission to uh, add email templates automatically from Figma. So once you've got those permissions selected like this, go ahead and click on save. And that should add the component to your package. So now that we've got that saved, we want to now copy these details down here. So we're going to grab the rest base URL. So I'm going to click on this little copy icon, go back to Figma and paste that into the rest base API uh, field here. Then I'm going to grab the client ID. So I'm just going to copy the client ID from Marketing Cloud, 
paste that into Figma and do the same thing for the client secret. So I'm going to grab that, copy that client secret into here. And then we're basically ready to go. You can add a subject line if you want. So we can call this uh, test subject and uh, test preheader just to put something in there. And now when you're ready, just go ahead and click on the upload to marketing cloud button. And that's just going to export the HTML and images from Figma. And it's going to automatically upload them into your Salesforce uh, marketing cloud templates. So you can see here that it's been successfully uploaded. So we can view these by going to the content builder page uh, once we've logged into the marketing cloud account. So I'm already logged into the marketing cloud account. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this uh, content builder page link. And that's going to open up the Salesforce marketing cloud uh, content builder link. So this is going to give us access to view uh, the email template that we just uploaded from Figma into the Salesforce marketing cloud account. Now we can see we've got our new MC email here. So that's the one we just uploaded from Figma. And you can see that if we click on it, uh, we can now uh, see exactly what was uploaded from Figma. So we've got our test subject and test preheader, which we just added uh, through the plugin. And you can see that we've got our uh, uh, Emailify app user as the owner. So it's been uploaded via the API using the package that we just created. And you can see here, this is real uh, HTML. This is uh, exactly what you expect from the template, uh, from the design in Figma. And this is now ready to use as an email template in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So we've got our uh, footer links in there, we've got our uh, text, and we've got our content as we'd expect. So you can now basically use this however you want in Salesforce Marketing Cloud, and that'll be your email template going forward uh, for whatever you want to use it for. So yeah, that's basically it. I know there was a few steps to get through uh, for the first time, but now that you've created that uh, package, so in the setup area under install packages, uh, you can basically now reuse these details in Emailify. So if you spin up a new Figma file and you need to paste in uh, credentials again, you can basically just copy and paste them again from this same page and you can reuse them as many times as you need. Uh, from this API installed packages page in Salesforce. So yeah, I hope that's helpful. And if you're using Salesforce Marketing Cloud, uh, please feel free to give this integration a try uh, from the Emailify Figma plugin. And hopefully it'll make your life a little bit easier, not having to manually create the uh, templates in Salesforce each time. So we'll leave it there for today. Thank you as always for watching, and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one.